Hello everyone and welcome. Um, today I will start my video looking at achievements because now uh, the campaign of Pyrrhus of Epirus should be the most hardcore among the three ones released with the return of Rome. And in the last scenario, Sisyphus, we have achievement where we should defeat all enemies. That's pretty incredible in my opinion. It should be a very long uh, and hard scenario. Hopefully, I will make it in the first try. So let's try uh, and see how it will be. And after that, I also get back to square one uh, to when you get the completion of the campaign, which is also amazing. Now let's go. The fifth scenario of Pius of Epirus, Sisyphus on hard. Just as one door slammed shut, another opened. And Pyrrhus was quick to jump through it. While he had been occupied in Sicily, the Romans had regrouped and once more set their sights on Tarentum. Desperate for help, the Greeks called on Pyrrhus, the only ruler who had ever answered their pleas. With Sicily lost and the Mamertine and Carthaginian fleets shadowing his every move, Pyrrhus set out for Italy. Yet, after so many hard-won victories that had spilled out in the sand, doubt gnawed at him. He had bested the Romans before, and he could do it again, but at what cost? Like Sisyphus in the old tales, he had been rolling his rock up the hill over and over, only for it to tumble back down and for the challenge to begin anew. Perhaps he would be satisfied once he had beaten the Romans a third time. Perhaps he would then return to Epirus and live out his days in peace. Perhaps. Hmm. Let's see how it will be the finale. Uh, oh, we should defeat, defeat the Mamertines and sink the Carthaginian warships. Ooh, that's just beginning. Pyrrhus begins in the Iron Age already, right? Against War Population 125, you do not need to defeat any enemy player to win. Instead, you must defend your ally Tarentus Wonder and destroy your enemy's wonders. Ooh, the music. The Samites are weakened by Roman raids and likely to render soon. The longer that you can keep them alive, the more time the Tarentines will have to work on their wandering peace. The Romans have fully regrouped and will come at you hard. You can strike at them tactically and steal resources from their supply depots, but trying to defeat them fully is unwise. Tarentum will not provide you with much help, but it will defend itself. Likewise, Benevento will not take the field with the Roman army, but will respond to any assaults. Hmm. Okay, the Romans will fill the powerful infantry counter these with heavy infantry of your own. So it's fire against fire. Pihus Green has escaped Sicily and landed south of Italy. Before he can make his way north to face the Romans in Benevento, he must dispatch the army of the Mamertines, Lula, the naval force of Carthage. Six purple pursuing him from the south. Oh, some naval battles. The northeast Pyrrhus allies in Tarentum, Sion, are threatened once more by the Romans. They have shored up their defenses and will defend their town fiercely. Meanwhile, the Samites, the Riel, have suffered Roman hands in your right sense. They still regard you as an ally, but they require support to survive. The main threat comes from the Roman army for Red, which controls most of northern and northwestern Italy. You strike hard at you and Tarentum from well defended war camps with armies many of heavy infantry. The other Roman lines uh, lies the city of Beneventum, which supplies the Romans with resources and wishes to bring the conflict to a quick end. We don't need to destroy every single enemy. And we have five, we have at least four enemies. Uh, the rest are our allies. So let's see, and there's also the ruins of Italy, which should be neutral or allied. Gosh. We are surrounded on all sides, but this is not over. Sink the Carthaginian fleet and send the Mamertines to Hades. <laughs> Yeah, it was 
for any of my heroes. Great job. With our march, and yeah, so sorry about my road. Sound the retreat. We have already driven the Epiros from Sicily. Let us not gamble away our remaining strength on folly. We have survived, but we cannot rest. The Romans advance on Tarentum and our sunlight allies as we speak. Our last hope for victory in Italy is to drive them back to Rome. The situation is dire. But if you can defend us um, while we build a wonder, um, um, the Romans will eventually have no choice but to retreat. <laughs> Great Zeus! It's Pyrrhus! We have been lost at sea ever since that storm hit us. Now, we are ready to begin the invasion of Italy. Wait. What do you mean, second invasion? Rutgers. Rutgers. Some rest. I can. I can. I can. Alpema. Ombus. We will support you for as long as we can, heroes. But you must defend us from the Romans. Hello. 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 Oh, 
Bob and Dr. Okay. Rings? No, we don't. So it's not worth doing. Today is the day that you enter oblivion. Say to good taste that you call a wonder. Well, you can play that game. You abandoned us in our hour of need. Okay. 
You may have won the battle, Pyrrhus, but you have still lost this war. Eerie, is it not? How that seems to be the recurring tune of your career. their wonder. We must defend it until the Romans pull back. While we were adrift, that Beneventum's defenses are weak along the coast. If we attack by sea, we could skirt around the Roman fortifications. A proud confederation, now destined to become nothing more than slaves to the Romans. Nothing now stands between us and Tarent. Let us march on the city! Oh, no. That's rap 
ramshackle building that you call a wonder has stood for long enough. Bombus. 
If we do not return in haste, we will find Rome sacked before long. Hooray! And that was not easy at all. Gosh, it's so broad. That was a very, very good scenario. And that's plenty of time extra. Woo! Back to square one. Achievement done as well. Oh, I want to admire the beautiful scenario that it is. I wonder, there was no evasion? By sea, by red, on the Cyan uh, city. I don't know what disrupted it. Despite the April's valiant efforts, the Battle of Beneventum was ultimately a failure. The Romans had learned from Pyrrhus's battle tactics, and they managed to scare the enemy war elephants into stampeding into the Epirot lines. Pyrrhus was forced to retreat. After five years of campaigning, all that he could do was to leave the Greek colonies to their fate. The Romans were relieved. Pyrrhus had been the fiercest opponent that they had ever faced, and they were honored to have fought such a powerful foe. As we set sail for Epirus, Pyrrhus and I took to conversing on the ship's deck. I told him that he reminded me of the myth of Sisyphus, and he, as he so often did, simply laughed it off. You still do not understand, do you, Kineas? He said. I will never stop struggling. To do so is to give up on life. You call it a curse, to push that rock up the hill forever and ever. 
but it is no curse. It is the one thing that a man can do when faced with impossible odds. It is his sole recourse in a universe that could not care less about his wishes. Perhaps it is pointless in the end, he said. And perhaps I will die before achieving what I set out to do. It does not matter. If you give up on your ambitions, then you might as well be dead. For you are already dead inside. I listened closely to him. As he finished, and as the coast of Epirus appeared to rise out of the waves far ahead, I could not help but smile. You are an idiot, my friend, I told him, if not by those exact words. <laughs> I love this campaign. This guy that tells the story is so amazing. Woo, 600 units killed. And we gave a lot of trouble to 10. You were really, really penned off by me this time. Could not save the Samites, that would be very difficult, almost impossible. 64 villagers, that's the way to go, having a powerful eco. Yeah, we ended up with huge stockpiles, even higher than the Roman army. And am I killing Benevento? I believe that I remove it. The um, resources that they got. Where did they, where did he get this? Ten thousand? Did they get after I? I don't know. Maybe it's after Benevento is destroyed. We got some huge stockpiles here. Well, the guard towers helped a little bit. Rookie. Yeah, it's all about finish off in the town centers as I expected. You go do it there as a surgical removal and they are finished. And for all these guys is by hitting the monument. These two guys you have to defeat in order to win, I believe. But for the Romans, they're kind of hard. Have had to manage to do with cataphracts. That wasn't easy at all. But to some oddly, very odd reason, they did not appear in the sea this time. I have no explanation why. But I also saw that they couldn't research so well this time, their most vital uh, research. As for example, the upgrade for the Centurion wasn't made by them, apparently. Uh, I don't know if they had legions, I think they had at the ending of the scenario. Yeah, the Ketopraxis seems to be very good. That was a good answer to their legions, I believe. Abedactus. Still, they are pretty fast, so they can take down the engines Abedactus. as well. Abedactus. Rock, rock, good. Oh, and that's rock, a solid good. bulk of Centurions here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for the storage pits to, uh, as a leverage for you to finish up red. It's very good. It's definitely what should be done. Because as you get here, it's very easy to actually kill them. Oh, those pretty costly. Hmm. And that was good. By destroying them, it really messed it up with their food income. I believe that was also something that was helping. Anyway, GG folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. That would be amazing. And see you next time. That was a very, very good campaign, but it took me a lot of time. And I hope that you guys enjoyed all my journey here, because it took a lot to actually edit this. There was a lot of trials that I did not show, but the Cataphract and Centurion, along with some uh, catapults, seems to be the way to go here. GG, folks. Thanks for watching, and I see you next time.